point last night, a tornado worn storm seemed to have Maumel in its crosshairs. A funnel cloud never dropped down, but massive amounts of rain did. The fire department needed boats to get people to safety. And as THV 11's Mikhail and Johnson shows us, all that flooding left many people dealing with a big mess today. After severe storms like this, residents in Maumel apartments woke up to lines like this, showing the high waters and damage left behind to their cars. We had taken cover because they said we were in a tornado warning, and I started hearing the car alarms going off. There are signs everywhere of flash flooding, including at apartment complexes like the Timbers in Maumel. But erring on the side of caution, Sharon Bielan didn't realize just how bad it was until Friday morning. Yeah, I was shocked because I've never seen it. I came out like at 630 to check my car and instantly called the insurance company. You can see it here. Sharon found deep puddles of water inside her car. There's water in our car. Um, my daughter's motor has a lot of debris and stuff in it. And it wasn't just the timbers. I spoke with management here at the Windsor apartment who say that the water got waist deep, but they're happy. No injuries or displacements reported just yet. A lot of that thanks to the Maumel Fire Department. The deepest it was probably about, you know, waist high on me. So we took boats in both apartment complexes. I tried to prioritize the people that had the most need to get out. Division Chief Michael Cossey says they rescued 14 people at Timbers and 15 at Windsor. You know, we moved a lot of people that, that otherwise would have been stuck in those places. It was a success story last night. Maumel Fire also got calls for lightning strikes causing gas leaks and fire alarms going off. As for Sharon and her car, so we don't know if it's going to be total loss or what. But we're just thankful that I have the coverage. She's also thankful for what's still around. If we can at least try to get another car. You can't get another life. In Maumel, McKaylin Johnson, THV 11 News. McKaylin, thank you. The storm did not spare the Maumel Fire Department itself. After making rescues throughout the city, they came back to roof leaks at their station. They're working on repairs now.